Imagine a perfect world with no government restrictions and you have unlimited funds. Well, today we're going to give you our top five dream guns of all time. Welcome to Ghost Tactical. My name is Trey. And the caveat to this is, is you're not going to see any tanks or helos or jets, but you are going to see some badass guns. Coming in at number five on the list is the M240 machine gun. The M240 or the M240 Bravo is a U.S. military designation for the FN MAG gas operated machine gun. A family of belt fed gas operated machine guns that are chambered in 762 by 51 NATO. Let's take a look at some of the specs. Like we said earlier, it's chambered in 762 by 51 NATO. The rate of fire is anywhere from 650 to 950 rounds per minute. The barrel length is 24.8 inches. The overall length is 49.7 inches. And the weight is 27.6 pounds. Guys, I shot this in the Marine Corps, and it is a phenomenal weapon system. It is best used for suppressing fire and all that. But ultimately, it's just a badass gun. So our number five is the FN M240. Coming in at number four on the list is the Mark 19 grenade launcher. The Mark 19 is a belt-fed blowback-operated air-cooled weapon system that fires 40 millimeter grenades at a rate of up to 390 rounds per minute. Let's take a look at some of the specs. Once again, it does fire 40 millimeter grenades at a rate of 390 rounds per minute. The barrel length is 16.25 inches. The overall length is just over 43 inches. And the weight is 77.6 pounds. Guys, there's not a whole lot better than shooting a fully automatic grenade launcher and just ripping shit up. I love shooting this in the Marine Corps. It was one of the most fun I've ever had shooting any kind of weapon system whatsoever. So our number four is the Mark 19. Coming in at number three on the list is the Ma Deuce. The Browning M2 machine gun, or the Ma Deuce, is a heavy machine gun designed toward the end of World War I by John Browning. The Browning 50 Cal has been used extensively as a vehicle weapon and for aircraft armament by the U.S. from the 1930s to the present. Let's take a look at some of the specs. The cartridge is 50 BMG with a rate of fire of almost 1,300 rounds per minute. The barrel length is 45 inches with the overall length of over 65 inches and the weight is up to 83 pounds. Guys, if you've ever been around a Maw Deuce, you know what it is when as soon as you hear it shot. It has a very distinctive sound. It is one of the biggest, baddest guns in the world that's been around for almost 100 years and continues to do damage. So guys, our number three on the list is the Maw Deuce. Coming in at number two on our list is the HK MP5. The MP5 was developed in the 60s by a team of engineers at HK. There are over 100 variants of the MP5, including some semi-automatic versions. The MP5 is literally one of the most widely used subguns anywhere in the world by militaries, law enforcement, intelligence agencies, security organizations, anyone and everyone that's got someone who needs a close quarter combat gun probably runs an MP5. Let's take a look at some of the specs. It can be chambered in multiple different calibers, but the most common is the 9mm with a barrel length of about 9 inches and an overall length of 27 inches. The weight is very, very light, anywhere from 5 to 7.5 pounds. If you've been around our channel long enough, you know that my favorite gun probably ever of all time is the MP5. It is a phenomenal weapon system. I'm too damn poor to own my own real MP5 and full automatic, so I have to go and get the 22 lr clone, but even this thing is badass to shoot. So guys, go check out our number two on the list, the HK MP5. Before we unveil our number one pick, we remind you to click that subscribe button and click the notification bell. You'll receive notifications anytime we get a new video that released. And now back to the countdown. And coming in at number one on our list is the M134 Minigun. The Minigun is a six barrel rotary machine gun with high sustain rate of fire between 2,000 and 6,000 rounds per minute. It features a Gatling style rotating barrel assembly with an external power source, normally an electric motor, and is used by several branches of the US military. 
Let's take a look at some of the specs. The caliber, once again, is 762 by a 51 NATO with a rate of fire of up to 6,000 rounds per minute. The barrel length is 22 inches with the overall length of 31 and a half inches and it weighs about 85 pounds. Now guys, this is the only one of the list that I have never fired and that's why it's number one. First of all, it is a badass gun. From vehicles to helicopters to pretty much wherever you want to mount this thing, the minigun is going to destroy whatever is in its way. So guys, this thing is badass and if I had all the money in the world and there were no restrictions, our number one choice for dream guns is the M134 minigun. Well now that we know that you've subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell, what we're asking you to do now is to hit that thumbs up button or the thumbs down button but you know what we honestly prefer the thumbs up button after that come down below here and make sure you leave us a comment we love hearing your feedback and we love to hear what you think about the video are you in the mood for some more awesome 2a content then make sure you check out our website ghosttacticalproductions.com and check us out on all of our social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified about our latest videos Till next time, Simplify.